Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas if you're still not into the mad. Um where should we go now? Apparently I need to go talk to Uzanagi. Who are you? Let me guess. You got work for me, right? Well you're too late. I just quit the bounty trade. As soon as I pick up some caps that Dotri owes me, I'm out of this scrapyard. Uh, uh, okay, see ya. Hey, yeah. Next time you see me, maybe I'll be rolling in a shitload of caps, right? Um, probably not. I don't even know who he is. What's my current quest? I don't hurt anymore. Yeah, I guess I should go there but first. I want to talk to some of the people here. Hmm. Where's your commanding officer, sir? Contreras is holding out on me. I know he's got more to sell. What is he selling? Drugs? When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Of course you were. Anders showed up here not too long ago. I'm told you're the one who got him out of the vault. Can't tell you how relieved I am. Sending him on that mission was a mistake. Uh, you didn't have a choice. The fiends were a growing threat. That's probably true. But I wonder if I should have taken a different strategy entirely. Although my options were certainly limited with most of our forces tied up garrisoning this place. Regardless, what you did for Anders isn't something he or any of us around here take lightly. We're all glad to have him back. Thank you. Uh... I'm here to provide support. Is there anything I might have to, might be able to help with? Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week, but so far he hasn't spoken a word. Hmm, I bet I could take, make the Legion prisoner talk. I have Lieutenant Boyd on that already, and she's excellent, but I think she's hit a wall. Talk to her if you like. See if she has any use for you. Her office is right above mine, but I think she might be interrogating right now. So she'd be upstairs on the other side of the building. Any other problems? Yeah. On top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. Uh, motor runner is dead. I brought his helmet as proof. Unbelievable. That man has given us so much grief since we set up here. This may be a major turning point for us. I can't tell you how many times we thought we'd taken him out, only to have him show up again later, taking more heads off of fallen troopers. This is for the bounty. And this is from a pool me and a lot of the soldiers around the base had going. You may not be in CR, but hey, it's only fair. Nice. Uh, okay, you seem calm given that things are as bad as they are. Calm is what you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. Good point. How are things going for the NCR around here? Could be better, I'll say that much. We set up here with our sights set on annexing New Vegas. That's a lot of resources that could do a lot of good for us. But that hasn't happened. If anything, they annexed us. They rake in the profits from our soldiers and we're stuck protecting them from the Legion. Not exactly the plan. Where does that leave you? Now we're trying to secure the strip and the dam at the same time, and it's costing us. And in the meantime, General Oliver won't approve any offensive maneuvers because he doesn't want to risk losing our positions. So we're in a holding pattern here. And Caesar's on the other side of the river, planning. Yeah. I could look into who's leaking NCR intelligence. Hmm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements. And it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. 
He can fill you in. Thank you. See. Ya. Bye. We'll discuss other things in a bit, but first of all, we have a quick business to the torture chamber. I mean, interrogation interrogation chamber. I didn't bring any torture devices. Hello? You still got like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Yep, do you need any help? Yeah, so far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-God centurion of Caesar's legion recently. Right. Better believe it. Everybody, everybody in Caesar's legion from Caesar on down will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army and he just gives himself up. Even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. And what do you think it means? Well, I don't know about you, but to me that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. Have you tried calling him hurtful names? Yes. And one time I thought I saw a tear when I told him his uniform was unflattering. But I think he just got some dust in his eye. What about the truth truck? Don't have anything like that. Sounds nice. Like the kind of thing I'd want to take home and use on my husband. But even if we did, I don't know that I'd be comfortable using it. If there's any risk of overdose, it's not worth it. Asshole's too valuable. And why did you just beat him senseless? I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. So you want me to do what you can't? I think if you rough him up enough, and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. Okay, let's get started. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. I wonder if we can speech... things. Long time no see, Silus. Lieutenant. I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. I'll pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. Know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles? Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were gonna give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Silus, if you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in, he's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. Oh. Hello. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? I think you're confused. I'm with the excrement right now. You must have some reason to be in your line of work. 
tell me, what did the Legion do to you? Did we enslave your children? Slaughter your family before your eyes to teach you a lesson? Whatever it was, I hope I was there to give the order. You must be skimming all this now that all your men are dead. Foot soldiers of the Legion are trained not to have to think for themselves. To have conflict removed from their minds. They kill themselves to evade capture because they are not trusted to make such a decision rationally in the heat of battle. But I'm no foot soldier. I knew I could escape captivity on my own without revealing the tiniest iota of information to my captors. Sounds to me like you're too gutless to follow to Casey's orders. I'll show you gutless, you sniveling bastard. I'll spill your guts all over this room. Oh no you won't. Get away from me. Oh well. Harry? Let's finish this up, then we can talk. Yeah, that's what I meant, like, it's your turn. Is something the matter, Silas? You look upset. Here, maybe you'd better step out for a moment. You've upset him. Your friend is a miserable fucking degenerate. I don't know. I thought he seemed like a nice guy. If we were on the other side of the river, I'd have him torn apart by dogs. That's a long walk, Silus. I don't think it's gonna happen. You'd better just talk. Your tactics are a joke. If you don't like dealing with me, I can bring my friend back in. Both of you can rot. Have it your way. Come on back in. I think he misses you. He does. Hello, buddy. We don't have anything to discuss, worm. Yes, we do. I, but I want to know how a coward can attain the rank of centurion. Coward? I've faced odds that would make your NCR soldiers wet themselves. I've led charges against men with guns, carrying only my knife. And I can tell you, it was they who feared me. But suicide is a weak death on a battlefield. It says to your enemy that you fear capture. It says if you're caught, you can be broken. So you were unafraid to cut any throat but your own? You think I'm going to slit my throat for some megalomaniacal self-appointed dictator? I didn't work my way up to have it all be taken from me out of some irrational paranoia. Kaisar's losing it. I believe that. He's been shutting himself in his tent. Privately, he complains of headaches. Whatever it is, it's affecting his ability to lead. Time was essential for my mission, but we waited three days for him to dispatch us. Another of his headaches. Does that sound like a man in command? He has an operative planted in this very base, but does he use his agent to rescue me? No. He's content to have the agent spend his nights radioing troop positions back to our base camp. He knows I'm here, and he's left me to rot. Who's the operative? I don't know. I know he sends intelligence by radio in the middle of the night. Sometimes that intelligence would find its way to my cantery. See? Don't you feel better now that you've divulged all those state secrets? I hope the Legion burns your wretched body at the stake when they conquer this place. Nothing I could tell you would do anything to stop that. Oh well. I guess you should wait for her to get, in, get inside first, so... She's going all the way there. Does she be right around? Get away from me. Hmm, doesn't look like it. Well? You did well. I don't know how you did it without putting a scratch on him. And I'm a little disappointed personally, but it saved the NCR some face. And it could save us more than that when all is said and done. I'm gonna talk to some people when we're through here. This is about double the standard fee we'd give a consultant, but from what I saw, you're more of an artist. So think of this as your commission. Who are you? Not big on reading name tags, huh? That's okay. My name is long and difficult to pronounce. Ready for it? It's Boyd. Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. But you know how colonels can be. See ya. Yep, see you around. That was fun. Smart move for the kings to back down. They okay, let's see. Uh, 
because uh, every weapon from my inventory was removed that does mean that we need to reassign all of them so sniper rifle number three that gun number seven uh, what was it? Number 4 was Mercenary's Grenade Rifle, 5 was Bozar, and 6 was Binoculars for whatever reason that I don't remember anymore. Honor to speak with you, sir. That's good. That's good. Alright, where's your military policeman? I remember I was supposed to talk to him. Talk to Captain Curtis. Hello. Because this is something we do wish to solve. We don't need the in-man here to actually muck down. shit up any further. Because already he apparently put quite the risk to the whole situation. Okay, he's... A this is his office. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Colonel Sue wanted me to help you look into the recent intelligence leaks. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last lead went cold weeks ago. Where should they start? You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. All right. See. Ya. Later. Going to begin with Boyd, of course, because we trust Boyd, because she had a lot of fun uh, by watching me talk to a uh, Centurion. You're back. Yep. Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Now, what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious? I've had soldiers go AWOL, break-ins, thefts, you name it. Who's missing? Well, there's Anders. He's a ranger. That one's not suspicious so much as worrisome. He left on a dangerous assignment. Colonel Shu sent him out. Now I think he feels guilty not having any way to check up on him. Shu, okay. Uh, anyone else missing? Yeah. The man I'm more interested in is Corporal White. White had a lot of promise. Wanted to be a ranger as bad as anyone I've seen. But he also had some extracurricular activities going. Now he's gone. But that's can't tell me about Anders. I don't know him very well myself. I seem to remember that he was the man to call on if you needed someone to get in and get out quietly. Colonel Shu would really be the person to talk to. Yeah, we actually did so and the situation by accident. I see uh, uh tell me more about break ins. Maybe break in isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry, but I've had reports of someone sneaking into the control tower at night. It's probably just a meeting spot for a steamy military base love affair. <sighs> Kids today. But it bothers me that they didn't break in. It means they have an access code. Most soldiers around the base don't have that. Uh, would you be willing to give me the control tower access key so I can check it out? Sure, if you want to investigate. It's not like there's anything to steal up there. Just a bunch of old communications equipment. If you can find out any more, I'd be interested to hear it. There's something about this I really don't like. And if I weren't tied up here, I'd be staking it out personally. You said there have been thefts? Not the kind of things you like to see go missing. No witnesses yet. I've got my money on Sergeant Contreras, who's supposed to be in charge of distribution, the little weasel. But he's too slick to let anyone catch him doing it. We've searched his possessions a dozen times. Nothing. All right, I'll keep an eye for that. Good. The more guns you can recover, the more I'll be able to use to shoot Contreras for being inept. Uh, I'll also see about Corporal White. Word around the base is, he'd been going regularly to visit a hooker named Dazzle at Gamora. That's a casino on the Strip. Classy place. His belongings are up in the barracks in the concourse building. First bunk on your left if you're facing it from the center. I haven't had a chance to look through his things yet, so that might be a good place to begin. Uh-huh. Okay, see ya. Yep, see you around. Okay, that's a different quest. So, what we need to do is... Actually locate... Huh. 
But we have a market below here. Need to investigate further. We can't jump here. There we go. Here then. I guess that's that tower. We need to stick it out at night time. I guess. But I'm not sure if that means immediately getting access to whoever we seek or if that's just uh you know, stuff. Oh. But anyway, we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching, I'll see you then. 34, I think, yeah. 30, 34. 30, 34. Yes, it's vacuum cleaner.